The stock camera app on the iPhone is pretty great for any casual photographer. It delivers great results consistently and it's quite easy to use. But if you're serious about photography, then I can assure you that the app just doesn't cut it. You'll have to rely on a third-party camera app, specifically one that offers pro mode capabilities if you want to click some truly amazing shots with your phone. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from GT and in this video, I'll show you how you can capture and edit raw photos on an iPhone. Let's get right to it. Now, if you're someone who knows anything about photography, I'm sure you'd already know the benefits of shooting in RAW. But if you don't allow me to explain, whenever you capture a photo with a modern smartphone, the sensor captures a whole lot of information and this information is stored within the image file. And since sensors these days capture a lot of data, they require a large file format. So when you click images in, say, JPEG, which is essentially a compressed file format, some of this valuable data is lost. While images clicked in RAW are able to retain the same data due to their relatively larger size of the image. And it's this extra data that gives you more freedom while editing images in post, which means that it's always better to click images in RAW if you plan on editing them later. So now that we have got that out of the way, let's talk about some free apps that you can use to capture raw images. First up, there is Adobe Lightroom, an amazing image editing app, which comes with a full-fledged pro camera built in that can capture raw images. The manual camera app allows you to take granular changes to each setting in the camera, just like you would do on a DSLR, which in itself results in some amazing photos. But with the raw image support, you can be rest assured that the photos will come out even better after a bit of editing. Next, there's MuseCam, another great photo editor that comes with a pro camera built-in, which also offers raw image capture. Much like Lightroom, you get access to a number of settings that you can change to capture the perfect shot. Both of these apps are available for free, so you can go ahead and try them out right away. And if you don't mind spending some money, then you should take a look at the Halite camera app, which I think is even better. Now, once you have captured a great photo in RAW, you'll need to edit it. RAW images are pretty flat looking by default and they absolutely require some post-processing for which you'll need an editor that comes with RAW image support. Thankfully, both of the camera apps that I just mentioned feature amazing image editors that support RAW photos. But if you are not satisfied with either of these for some reason, you can also try out Snapseed. Snapseed is an amazing image editing app from Google that packs in an absolute ton of tools, including RAW image support. The app automatically opens up its RAW image editor when you select RAW file and you can tinker around with the sliders to make your images look really good. Now all that's said and done, I'm sure you would want some proof to actually see how much better a RAW image can look. So take a look at this photo. I clicked this photo using the pro camera in Lightroom in JPEG format. Looks pretty great, right? Now take a look at this one that I clicked in RAW using the exactly the same settings. Looks pretty bad, doesn't it? And here's the same image after some careful editing. Do you see the difference now? Hold on. Here are all three photos side by side. Doesn't the edited RAW photo look amazing? That's exactly what you can achieve while shooting photos in RAW. So what are you waiting for? Get these apps on your phone right away and start shooting. And when you do share your photos on Instagram, don't forget to tag us and tap on that follow button. We post some amazing photos on the platform and we even host some cool Instagram exclusive giveaways now and then, which you wouldn't want to miss. Well, that wraps it up for this video. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.